In this episode, we set up camp in Mildura after being officially refused entry to New South Wales and share a space with some surprising new Aww. companions while we apply <laughs> for border exemptions. Sean gets back to fixing things. We explore the Vic side of the Murray and finally hear the news we'd been waiting for. The New South Wales government will be opening the border with Victoria. <laughs> to apply for a border permit which we were approved for but it told us that we had to fly and quarantine which would cost about 10 grand for us to fly to do the hotel quarantine and then to get the caravan and the vehicle shipped over so now we have to apply for an exemption which allows us to travel by road which is looking promising and police officers at the border yesterday said that it looks good for us to apply for this it's easier to get into some countries than to get back into the state we were born. It's a beautiful morning in Mildura. Just wanted to show you our new setup. We're sharing with the chickens and the goats. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it'd be the goats eating our shoes, not chickens. How would you rate your shower experience here in Mildura? That was a ten. A ten? Uh, yeah. Out of out of a hundred, that's terrible. No, <laughs> not a ten. <laughs> After getting here and feeling very overstimulated, dishevelled. What I need. <laughs> I had a good pressure. It was hot and there was music, so I got to do a bit of yeah. singing. Did you hear dancing. me singing? No, do we? <laughs> <laughs> music, good bonus. Um, shower layout, very important. That there's a little nook to hide your clothes in or to hang them up so they don't get wet. Take note, caravan park owners, because it shits me when you don't have that. <laughs> so have that. Um, and music, yeah, well, I was boffing in the shower, yeah. good pressure, hot water instantly, oh, it's a dream. Start it up. What do you have there, you ask? Oh, yeah. Inflatable kayak. Phew! Packs up into a bag. <laughs> you go in here. And we're off. Today's adventure, explore the Billabong. Hi. Hello. In the middle of the Billabong, surrounded by nature. And then there's this monstrosity. Kind of creepy. Pulling up for some lunch at a water treatment plant.
The King's Billabong Wildlife Reserve is home to wetlands of international significance. Many species of waterbirds live on the billabong, including whistling kites and swamp harriers. Local Indigenous people have enjoyed the billabong's rich and life-supporting food supply from the wetland for thousands of years. The billabong was an important meeting place between Murray nations and travellers from the south, so it was a pleasure to spend the day on the billabong. It's a mistake, that's what it is. <laughs> you should not be here. Go somewhere else. This is nature. You have a black cormorant. You got the Aussie bin chicken. And then the pelican. Oh, lovely. <laughs> that was beautiful, mate. The bin chicken is the biggest grub of the three, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. So while I'm working, <laughs> Sean gets banished to the car. <laughs> hey! <laughs> working. <laughs> I'm not working there with you. You can come back now. I don't want to. <laughs> Hugo doesn't talk back to me. He doesn't get cranky with me. It's just quiet. Something's wrong with the microwave. It doesn't spin. That's why. Because it snapped off inside there. That's two part epoxy. Because mm. I've used this so much on this trip. Mm -hmm. What's with these chickens, man? Okay, moment of truth. Will it spin? Oh, she spins all right. Why not? Just a little dirt hill. That's pretty destroyed to me. No, Do you feel better about this way? No. So we've been stuck in Victoria for what how many months? Are we waiting on? Four months? Since July. July, August, Four months now. I keep your and I just sit show. looking at New South Wales. Yeah. That's it, over the other side of the river. Daydreaming of better times. Yep. The lengths that we have to go to to cross that river and get home. Unbelievable. It's so peaceful out here now. There's no kids about at all. Wait, what is that?
Yeah. Making their own music. We got a new edition. Yeah. What have you got there? After the chickens have just been take, take, taken around here, they finally gave back. project. I want to use this air compressor I put in for the air diff locker but I want to dual purpose it so I can inflate my tyres. That pressure switch is normally in there so that will go into where the pressure switch was. So the good thing about this compressor unit is that it's adjustable so both of these cylinders can be rotated independently. Oi. away for a minute and there's four of them pecking me chair. So many dishes. Where did they even come from? <laughs> Always so many dishes. <laughs> First meal out together in who knows how long. I miss this. I miss the symbol thing. It's like being able to just Go out to a restaurant for dinner. Not bad when you get a dessert on the house on your first time in a restaurant. Mm. Careful consideration. Uh, I'm pleased to say that the New South Wales government will be opening the border with Victoria on uh, the 23rd of November. Oh! So, <laughs> so yes! New South Wales a place where every we can go home. home. Now we can plan Christmas, we can plan my mum's birthday, we can plan climbing, see friends. It's tripping me out that the ocean isn't just there. Now we're in a rooftop bar, palm trees, everything looks so nice, yet we're about a thousand kilometres from the ocean. <laughs> Another broken thing. This piece of aluminium is bent and popped out of its channel. So I've got to try and bend it back to its normal shape and then slide it back in. We have to check it out in five minutes, of course. <laughs> Ruby the chicken herder. <laughs> 